We should be ready for action by Saturday, huh? Ah, uh, yes. Let's make it a heartwarming experience for those sea-weary, homesick boys at the task force. <laughs> Rest assured, Tink, every man that comes ashore will be leaving a little bit of himself on McHale's Island. <laughs> hey! Seven! Get rid of them, Hap, will you? <laughs> what do they want? Marcus, sir, I told you once, I told you a dozen times. You can't come in here. Now, look, Gruber, while the skipper's in New Caledonia, I'm the commanding officer here, and I have a right to be... So, but this signal just came in from Pearl Harbor. Sir, you're going to have a very distinguished visitor tomorrow. Vice Admiral T.J. Parker of Naval Operations, sir. Uh-oh. Vice Admiral Parker, he's the one they call Bulldog Parker. They tell me he's a holy terror on inspection tours. Well, at least with McHale away, I've got a fighting chance to keep the Admiral from declaring this base a slum area. But, sir, I don't think you have to worry about any inspection. He's just stopping off here briefly on his way to Com Fleet, sir. Oh, why is he stopping here? Sir, Admiral Parker is a ranking member of the uh, promotion board. That's right, he is, isn't he? Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. Think he's coming here to look me over? And uh -huh. why not, sir? Taratuba has the best combat record of any PT base in the South Pacific. Uh-huh, it does, doesn't it? Yes, sir. Ha! <clears throat> Rear Admiral Wallace B. Binghamton. Ah, has a nice ring to it, huh? Yes. You have ringing? Oh, I do. <laughs> all, right, all right, Tell all hands, I want this face to shine like the eagle on my collar, which may soon turn into two stars, huh? Aye, aye, sir. Aye. Uh, what about McHale's Island, sir? McHale's Island? I ought to blow it up. That's what I ought to do with McHale's Island, but I don't have time. So I'll go over there personally, and I'll tell Ensign Parker that he's... Oh, sir, I just had a thought. Well, that's a switch. <laughs> so I was just thinking, Ensign Parker, Admiral Parker, do you think by any chance they could be related, sir? That was your thought, was yes, it? <laughs> a bubblehead like Ensign Parker related to Bulldog Parker. Why, before he'd put up with a with a pea brain like that in his family, he'd go down with his ship if he had to sink it himself. <laughs> Ensign Parker related to Bulldog <laughs> You're a bubblehead, too. You think you can fix it? I don't know. Has to be balanced just right, or this crazy gizmo's liable to pay off every time. Pay off? Watch your language. <laughs> you know, listen, even if we get this stuff fixed by Saturday, where are we going to put it? Now, you've got to think positive, man. All we got to do is find a new location for our casino. Uh, fellas, Parkinson say all hands report on the double. Report? What for? We're busy, man. Oh, uh, weapons drill, he say. Weapons drill? What's the matter with him? He acts like there's a war on. Yeah, take his right. Excuse me, sir. Just a minute, Governor. That's another word for numbskull. I'm writing my report on Ensign Parker. <laughs> sir, perhaps you'd better read this message first because it's about Ensign Parker. Yeah, what does it say about him? Wow, wow, I wow. don't believe it, sir. I read it over and over and it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't stop seem... mumbling and tell me what it says. <laughs> He's Vice Admiral Parker's nephew, sir. How well, naturally. Anybody can tell the look at him. He's the Admiral's nephew, sir. And this message requests that the ensign be available when the Admiral arrives. It's as you said, sir. It just doesn't seem possible that a man like Admiral Parker could be a blood relative of that... that little numbskull. Carpenter, 
Are you insinuating that I would say anything derogatory about an esteemed fellow officer? Oh, but sir, you just asked me a minute ago. If you said I that... said anything at all, I said that Parker has uh, certain qualifications that can take him a long way in this man's navy. <laughs> Come on, you guys, you're supposed to be painting. Any minute now, Skipper. As soon as Tinker gets the hose hooked up to the bilge pump, we spray the joint. Yeah, well, hurry up. I'm in enough trouble with the captain as it is. OK, gang, she's ready. Uh, how do you know that thing's going to work? Oh, here, you're our leader. Try it. Well, hold it. Hey, that's not bad. Give me a little more pressure, Tink. Hold <laughs> uh, the pressure. Sorry, sir. I'll report right to the brig as soon as I get your brush off. Oh, it's you, Parker. Yes, sir. Uh, well, you couldn't help that boy, could you? That was just an accident. Yeah, and as soon as I serve my duty as seaman second class, sir, I'd sure appreciate it if you just... What'd you say, sir? I said it was an accident, Parker. You couldn't help it. As my old New England grandmother used to say, no offense intended, no offense taken. <laughs> He's flipped. Your, your old grandmother. What, you mean, sir, you're not mad at me? Mad at you, boy. I like you. I like you, boy. I've had my eye on you for a long time. As a matter of fact, I said to myself this morning, I said, oh, that Parker, I said, it'd be really for promotion, I said. Promotion? Me? P promotion? Well, maybe not in rank right away, boy, but eventually, as my new aide, you'll have the appropriate stripes. <laughs> uh, uh, sir, uh, why don't you let me take you over to sick bay, sir? Now, uh, many men crack up under these conditions. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Really. That's what I like about you, boy. You're humble. You're humble, you're humble, and I like that. Now, let's go in my office, which you'll share with me, of course, and I'll explain all your new duties to you. First of all, you're going to be in charge of the preparations for the visit tomorrow of Vice Admiral Parker. Vice Admiral Parker, yes. yes. You mean Uncle Tim's coming here? Uncle, where did you go? Where, Uncle Tim? Uncle, he's your uh, Vice Admiral Parker. You're pulling my leg. Oh, oh, sir, he's my uncle on my father's side. That's oh, why we have the same name. Heavens hey, to Fred. What a small world this is, yes. boy. Now, you come along, Charles, and I'll explain your new duties to you. Don't stumble or anything. <laughs> His uncle's an admiral. But good old Parker is the captain's aide. It's like having a license to steal. You mean we're back in business? Of course. We'll set up a casino right here on the base. Yeah. But what about those shore patrol guys? Yeah. What about those guys, huh? <laughs> I want this to be a pleasant assignment for you, but golly, shore patrol? We're only doing it in your interest, sir. As the captain's aide, you need men you can count on. Yeah, but shore patrol now. Oh, that's right, sir. Listen, we stayed up all night sewing on these armbands. Yeah, but... Yes, uh, and you wouldn't want Commander McHale to think you weren't loyal to your old shipmates. He'd think you went Navy on us. Yeah. I've got the orders all made out, sir. Well, uh, here, use my chest. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Thank you, sir. The captain's a lucky man having an aide like you. Oh. Right, face! Forward! Arch! Afternoon, sir. Uh, Jack, how, uh, how's my aide this fine day? Just fine, sir, just fine. Oh, that's fine, fine. I, uh, I brought you a little present, Chuck. It's sort of a welcome to the staff gift. Oh, thank you, sir. That's real salty. <laughs> salty. <laughs> oh, would you? Allow well, me, uh, would you, Chuck? There we go. <laughs> oh, there you are. <laughs> what are you laughing about, boy? What's the... You're tickling me, sir. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Message just received from Vice Admiral Parker's plane, sir. Message just received from Vice Admiral Parker's plane. What is the message? Why, why, why? Oh, what's the message? Come on, speak up. Boy, the Admiral's waiting here. What, 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 what? Come the on. Admiral's plane will be landing in 10 minutes, sir. That won't be landing in 10 minutes, sir. I know, I heard him. He heard you. Yes, I heard him. Uh, I mean, uh, thank you, boy. Thank you. When you aid, you really aid, don't yes, you? <laughs> That's a good one, Wally. <laughs> you tell the Admiral I'll meet his plane. I want to bring him over here and introduce him to my new aide. Yes. Well, get the captain's hat. Come on, boy. Come on, come on. Snap it up. Open the door. Let's go. Let's move, man. 
there'll ever be an ape, sir. <laughs> Whoa! So that's Taratupa, huh? I'm surprised it's still there, knowing my nephew's talent for catastrophe. <laughs> Come now, sir. Aren't you being a little hard on the boy just because he's a relative? Well, now, Bill, you're forcing me to say it, so I'll say it. My nephew is a blithering nitwit. <laughs> you know, they say there's one in every family, but believe me, not like little Charlie. Well, surely, sir, you must have some feeling for the boy. After all, you're making a special stop to see him. I promised his mother she's worried about him. But not half as worried as I am. Bill, it's, it's foul-ups like little Charlie who could lose this war for us. <laughs> Captain, just what is all the mystery here? Why didn't Denson Parker meet the plane? Just what kind of trouble is the boy in? Not trouble. Oh, on the contrary, sir, I couldn't operate this base without him. You couldn't? Now, if you'll just step in here, sir. I'd like to have him meet my aide. <laughs> Hi, Uncle Tim. What's this? Uh, I mean, Uncle Admiral. He's your aide? <laughs> yes, affirmative, sir. And I must say, he is one of the most conscientious and loyal staff officers I've ever had. Well, you know how we Parkers are, sir. We give everything we have to the Navy. <laughs> How's Aunt Clara, Cousin Humphrey? Oh, Aunt Clara's just fine. Uh, and Cousin Humphrey? He's fit. Oh, well, yes. <laughs> Well, my boy, I must say that I'm relieved, I mean happy, to see that you have a desk job. Oh, a correction, if I may, sir. Uh, he also functions as a combat officer. He's the executive officer of PT-73. I signed him there myself, purely on merit, you understand? <laughs> You're a combat officer? Oh, yes, sir, yes, sir. You see, while Commander McHale's away, well, I'm the skipper. Yes, sir. <laughs> Respectfully request next dangerous mission, sir. <laughs> Uh, gentlemen, I think we ought to sit down and talk this over quietly. Uh -huh. I, I don't want to interfere, Captain. Excuse me, sir. Yes, Commander. Just had word from Comfleet. They've set the meeting up and request you proceed immediately. Oh, well, very well. That little talk will have to wait until I return. In the meantime, Captain, carry on. I will be looking forward to it, sir. Bye-bye, Uncle Admiral. Anchors away! <laughs> All right, we have to push off, sir. How'd it go? Well, Bill, let me put it this way. Either a miracle has happened to my nephew or that Captain Binghamton is a bigger pea brain than he is. <laughs> Roster, sir. Oh, what the devil are you doing with it? Well, uh, just acting as your right hand, sir. Oh, oh yes, yes, of course, that's right. That's right. Uh, thank you, boy, thank you. Uh, <clears throat> Chuck, before I sign this, I know you're very busy and have a lot of things to do before your uncle gets back, but uh, why don't you sit down there, boy, and we'll have a little chat, huh? Well, certainly, sir, yes, sir. Now, I know when your uncle get... Why don't you sit over here, boy? Don't be afraid. <laughs> Now, when your, uh, your uncle gets back, I know that he'll have a lot of questions to ask you. Things about uh, our base, about uh, me. Yeah, you, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm sure he will, sir. Uh, he's what we refer to as a nosy Parker. <laughs> it's a family joke, sir. <laughs> <laughs> family joke. <laughs> so are you. I say, when your uncle comes back, I want to be sure that you mention to him in passing that I'm... Uh, Ready and able to move up in rank to bigger things? Oh, okay. uh, yes, sir. Ready and able. Yes, sir, I have it, sir. Uh, uh, if you just sign the duty roster, I'll get back to work. Oh, anything that's okay with my trusted aid is okay with me. I... What is that? Gruber and the rest of those pirates on shore patrol? Well, that's like giving the Dillinger mob the key to Fort Knox. Well, now, wait a minute, sir. Don't get excited. I've figured this out. I use my noggin on this one, You're sir. Right. I, well, now, you see, Gruber and the boys know every trade in the book, so I just figure... Said a thief to catch a thief. You know, in a weird sort of way, that almost makes sense. Uh, you, you mean, set a thief to catch a thief? Yes, sir. Oh, well, you can tell your old New England grandmother that one, sir. Get him. <laughs> Thanks. You on duty? No, I'm on my way to the PX. I just drew my pay. Oh, yeah? Well, in that case, come on. Thanks for 
shoes, masseurs. Fake for shoes. That's French for put your money where your mouth is. As everybody fade his juice. Enjoy yourself, sailor? Hey, what is set up? Aren't you guys worried about the shore patrol? What's to worry? Important messages received, Wally. Are you comfortable? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Good, good. What is the message, Chuckie well, boy? Well, uh, <clears throat> right at this moment, Uncle Tim is on the way back to our base. Oh, is he? Good, good. Uh, did he give you his ETA? Uh, no, uh, he gave me a Boy Scout knife, though, once. You know, it had eight good tools on it. It had a screwdriver and a corkscrew. Chuck. Chuck? Yes, sir? ETA, that's estimated time of arrival. <laughs> Estimated time of run. Wouldn't that be E T O A? <laughs> I believe you've got a point there, boy. And you haven't uh, told me the time, though, oh, trusted right hand. Oh, that he's coming? Yes, yes his ETA. Well, that'll be, uh, let's see, got the message at uh, 0400. So, no, wait. The, he'd be uh, at 12, you start at 13, 14. <laughs> An hour. Oh, splendid, boy. Splendid. I can't tell you how happy I am to hear that. Excuse me. And oh, in the meantime, Chuck, I'm going to relieve you of all your other duties. And that'll, that'll give you time while your uncle was here to have that heart-to-heart -heart chat with him, huh? Remember, oh, yes, son? Remember? Oh, yeah. Ready and able. Yeah. Right, Wally. Don't worry about me. Yes, uh, oh, don't slam the door. <laughs> well, you can shut it, but you don't have to slam it. <laughs> Sir, if I may suggest, uh, you might postpone your inspection of the base right now, and we could adjourn to my quarters, and you could have a nice long talk with your nephew. Yes, well, thank you, Captain, but I'd rather complete my inspection first. It could have a bearing on my talk with the ensign. Oh, well, then, uh, shall we proceed, sir? Well, suppose we check the air raid shelters first, as long as we're here. Well, uh, they're the captain's pet project, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, he always thinks of his men. They're completely equipped. Completely equipped. Yeah. 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 All right, men, get your pets down. Come right in, gentlemen. Yay! What the devil is going on in here? I think that's pretty obvious, Captain. You're running a gambling casino. Oh, I assure you, Admiral, I didn't know anything about this. Uh, this is your fault, mister. Uh, I warned you, you put these racketeers on shore patrol and this would happen. Is that true, Ensign? Oh, uh, well, well but... <clears throat> Yes, sir. They're my man, and I'm responsible. You see that, but it's his responsibility. He admits oh, it. Oh, stop he, whining, he, Captain. In the United States Navy, the commanding officer is responsible for the acts of officers and men under him. Yes, but I... He would, but I All right. In this case, I'll admit there might be mitigating circumstances. <laughs> Captain, if you don't mind, I'd like a word with the ensign in private. Boy, I sure fouled up. I don't blame you for being ashamed of me, Uncle Admiral. I'm not ashamed of you, Charles. Every man has his strength and his weaknesses. But I feel that a, a command post is not one of your strongest points. Oh, I realize you're taking away my commission. No, no, I'm not taking away your commission. It's, it's just that I feel that you'd do better in a nice, safe job back in the States. You go back to your quarters and pack your gear. You'll be leaving with me. Yes, sir. And Charles, no hard feelings? Oh, no, it's okay, Uncle Admiral. <laughs> Charles, please, don't call me Uncle Admiral. <laughs> Thanks, Coogee. Here's my home address. If you get stateside after the war, be sure and look me up. We do, Parkasan. We're going to miss you. Thanks, Coogee. <laughs> Poor Mr. Parker, and it's all our fault. Yeah, whoever figured this would happen? What a bum break. Hey, look, there's a skipper. Hey, Skip. Hey. Hi, Skip. Boy, listen, we're glad to see you. What's going on here? What are you guys doing over here, anyway? What kind of trouble are you guys up to now? Oh, it's not us, Skip. It's, it's Mr. Parker. We lost him up. His uncle, Admiral Parker's here, and he's shipping him out. Now, of all the miserable eight balls, I can't leave you guys for 48 hours without you guys following up. Harry! Let's hit the shelter! You better, because when the nips stop blasting you, I'm gonna get you! Talk, got it! Oh, oh, yeah, when did you get back? Uh, just pulled in, sir. Uh, hi, Admiral. Hey, all right, men, inside. Yeah, after you, sir, after you.
Where's Ensign Parker? Uh, yeah, he sent him to his quarters to get his gear, sir. Well, I know that, but what's taking him so long? To his quarters or Holy Toledo, he may be caught out there in a drink. What's that, Commander? Well, sure, our quarters are across the bay, and if he's on his way back, he'll be a sitting duck. Sir, request permission to go to his aid, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. I can't risk the lives of more men. Then, sir, request permission to commit mutiny. Come on, gang. <laughs> As you were, man. Sorry, we foul things up for you, Mr. Parker. Oh, it's a doggone shame that... Oh, attention! Ensign Parker reporting, sir, is ordered. Uh, only you don't have any gear. The enemy sank it. Yes, I know. Well, it's all right, Charles. You're not being reassigned anyway. Uh, you mean you're throwing me out of the Navy? No, oh, nothing of the sort. Any man who could command such affection and loyalty from a wild crew like this that they'd risk their lives for him... Well, my boy, you must have the right stuff in you somewhere. <laughs> sir, you mean that the Chuck, I, I mean, Mr. Parker can stay with the 73? Sir. Yeah! 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 There you are, there you are. Now, as for you, Mikhail. Uh, yes, sir. This will be the first time in my career that I've recommended a decoration for a crew of mutineers. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> well, goodbye, gentlemen. Bye-bye, uh, sir. Bye, Charles. Oh, and Charles. Don't forget to write to your Aunt Clara. Yeah. Oh, bye, Uncle Admiral. <laughs> bye bye, sir. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Chuck, you sure got a great uncle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, darn. I forgot to tell him that you're ready and able, Wally. You want me to get him? I. Ah, oh, shut up. <laughs> Don't you dare ever call me Wally again. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> 